Well, we have a big case today. This uh, judge isn't allowing me to go. Uh, we have a big case today in the Supreme Court on presidential immunity. A president has to have immunity. If, it, if you don't have immunity, you just have a ceremonial president. You won't have a president. Do you know about the payments? So we have a big I think that the Supreme Court has a very uh, important argument before it today. I would have loved to have been there, but this judge would not allow that to happen. I should be there, but he wouldn't allow it to happen. I think he puts himself above the Supreme Court, which is unfortunate, isn't it? But the uh, argument on immunity is very important. The president has to have immunity. This has nothing to do with me. This has to do with a president in the future for a hundred years from now. If you don't have immunity, you're not going to do anything. You're going to become a ceremonial president. You're just going to be doing nothing. You're not going to take any of the risks, both good and bad. I mean, you're going to make some great decisions and save the country. You're going to make some decisions which are unfortunate, but that's the way it is. But you're not going to do anything if you don't have immunity, because otherwise you're going to be prosecuted after you leave office for doing something like going into an area, going into a country, doing lots of things that you wouldn't be doing. And we don't want a ceremonial president. We have to have a real president. And assuming you have the right person, that can make a big difference. You saw that for four years when I was president. We were respected all over the world. We had the best economy we've ever had. Everything was good. We had no wars. We defeated ISIS. We had no wars. We had no nothing. But we were respected all over the world. And now it's a it's a disgrace. We also, by the way, had the single best border ever in recorded history of our country. We had the best border ever. We built 571 miles of wall. We were going to build 200 more miles, far more than I said we were going to build. But we had a country that was respected, and now we have a country that's a joke. It's being laughed at all over the world. And you have riots at all the universities.